Hi guys, welcome back to Manifest with Armini. My name is Armini and I'm a Law of Attraction consultant. Making a quick video, maybe one of a series, like a small series of videos um, about feeling it real. Um, there was one of the questions in my uh, one of my previous video posts was, um, you know, if I can talk more about feeling it real. And, you know, it, it's funny because feeling it real is, is the entire thing. The, the whole purpose of any other technique, any any technique, exercise, process, Neville, Abraham, anyone you've ever read um, their writings on this, on this stuff, you know, the, the purpose is to get into the feeling state of already experiencing what is it you want. And people like Joe Spenza will tell you on the, the science end of it that once your brain is used to feeling itself experiencing something, you know, in your imagination and you're, you're feeling all the feelings of it, then um, it's no longer a surprise when it happens. You know, it's there's the joy, you know, if it's something that you wanted, but it's not a surprise for your um, mind anymore because your subconscious mind has already gotten used to it. And that is what Neville's talking about when he talks about the feeling of naturalness. You want to practice whatever it is that you want, the end result, the wish fulfilled for you it is, it is to feel like it's not news for you anymore. And when it's not news for you anymore, then you know that your subconscious mind has already um, accepted this as a reality because it is a reality. It's just that you, from your, you know, physical mind perspective, are now be able to see it as something that is, um, you know, something you've experienced already. Um, same thing is the learning process for everything, like, like Dr. Dr. Dispenza says. Um, at first you're unfamiliar with it and then you familiarize yourself with it and then you're, before you know it, you're, it's second nature. So, feeling it real is not about necessarily heightening the the feeling to be as good as possible that could be part of it and i'm not saying it shouldn't <laughs> but feeling it real is just that it's feeling it real as though this already happened so it's if it's something that really would make you feel super excited when it happens then you do want to practice that aspect as well but the real point is is to basically see it as something that is as normal to you as bumping into a friend or as normal to you as having breakfast or something that you've already done just like when you were a small child and there was a certain toy you want maybe the toys R us catalog had just come out i remember that um and you were going there marking it you know what you want for christmas and it's so exciting because you're just seeing it and you're just considering that feeling of what it would be like to have it, you know? And then when you get it, and then by the time Christmas comes along and w when, when you got the gift, right? Or any gift that you're excited to receive, at first it's super exciting and super fun. And then guess what? It becomes kind of natural. Now, I'm not saying that it loses its value. People see kids doing that and they think that they're losing the, the value they had for a toy when they don't play for it. Anybody watch seen Toy Story in the Toy Stories but it's not that they're losing value it's that they're not as obsessed with it because it's not something that they're feeling so badly about wanting to have you know um, once you see it as something that yeah I can have that when your parents say you can pick out two gifts that you want for Christmas you pick those toys out and you're excited to, to have them and you're not worried if you're gonna get it or not and then when you get it um, it's fun and then you enjoy it. And then, you know, from that point of attraction, you have new desires. Doesn't mean you're not gonna play with that anymore. Doesn't mean you don't like it anymore. It's just now part of your natural state. Um, just like um, eating meals every day, you know, hopefully you're eating meals every day. And it is, doesn't mean that you're not going to want to eat a meal again anymore after you eat it. No, it's just that you're, you're gonna have the hunger again. It's just not gonna be the same, you know, when you're full and then you get, guess what, mealtime's gonna come again, you're gonna get hungry. It's similar. Um, so the feeling state of, you know, feeling it real for the feeling state of that thing that you want should feel absolutely natural to you. It should feel real. If it, if, if you're, if you want a new car and everything that you're imagining in your scene is like, oh, it's gonna be perfectly clean and it's gonna be, um, I don't know, 
fill in the blank. Just use that one. You just, it's going to be perfectly clean. If your current car is like a junkyard, <laughs> and I'm saying that because, you know, when I had an older car, I didn't care about it. And I did not care to keep it clean. And in my imagination, I would think, oh, well, a new car would be so nice. I would keep it so clean. But let's be real. I'm not going to keep it clean all the time. Okay, nothing's that's not going to change. You know, your other habits are probably not going to they could if that's part of your part of your, you know, vision, but a part of your desire, but it doesn't have it's not going to be perfect. Once you have this thing that you desire, it doesn't mean everything in the world is going to fall into place for you. You know, all of a sudden you're going to be going to become a person who doesn't do most of the things that you usually did. You want to change this aspect of, of your life. You're attracting a new um, desire, new experience. So once you can let go of this idea that everything attached to your desire, that when you're, when it happens, once you let go of the idea that everything's going to be perfect, then you can understand what's like to feel real. And then you can start to go a little deeper in. You can start to see it as, oh, I'm a human being. <laughs> I'm not going to be perfect when I have it. Nobody's perfect. And that's good. How would I feel though when I have it? Um, these are the things I would be seeing if I was driving in my new car, for example, I don't know um, if it's a specific car, you know, you're seeing the emblem on the wheel on the steering wheel. What is it? Um, you want to live in a certain neighborhood or be in a certain neighborhood more often because you think it's beautiful. Then imagine that scenery driving by as you're driving around in a different neighborhood or drive around that neighborhood. But even honestly, driving in the same neighborhood is good. The neighborhood you want to be in, but driving in a different neighborhood and feeling as though you're driving in that desired neighborhood, that's also really good because it exercises your, your imagination um, in a different way. So feeling it real is about being, it's not about being an idealist. People might see it as an idealizing something. No, you want to make it real. That's the whole point. It should feel real to you at the end. Um, everything is perfectly imperfect. And make it that um, combination of things that you want it to be when you're experiencing, okay? Thank you guys. If you like this video, please click like. Um, just out of time. So um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to do so, please do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.